hey guys hi um, so then for those of you who live in the US in America uh, you know you pretty much heard about the um, shooting in Newton Connecticut it's really sad and I'm heartbroken you know kind of a little frustrated not really frustrated but like you could break your heart out not literally um, you know, I pretty much felt unhappy for those people who killed them. Like, um, this guy, Adam, the 20 year old, I pretty much heard it on the TV and on news. So then, you know, it's just kind of hard to explain. Those 27, 28 people died, including the principal in elementary school. Um, kids had to be evacuated. They're asking, you know, tons of questions. And not just, that's normal for little kids, right? And, yeah, I mean, that's what I pretty much have to say. But anything else, I pretty much would show you the, um, the clips I recorded. And pretty much in my house, you know, I watched 2020, um, the special edition of the tragedy shooting in that state of Connecticut. And I pretty much recorded, and I bought pretty much last Friday, the HD Sony camcorder. Yeah. I mean, I would thank my parents to buy it for me for early Christmas. Um, and that's all I have to say, so hopefully you agree with me what I said. Um, and this, by the way, this is serious, so I'm not taking it as a joke. I'm taking it like big time. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say until after the clips I show you. likely touches everyone in this community because it is such a small, tight-knit community. Absolutely. Parents, brothers, sisters, aunts, grandparents, teachers, uh, all the EMS responders, the police, uh, everybody here, we've all been affected by this. And we're prepared for, I think, months to come to continue to provide the mental health services that will undoubtedly have to be provided. All things that we know about happened in that school, and yet there was so much heroism as well. And those kids walked out, not enough of them, but more than did not. And those families are now left with a difficult task that many of us have as well as parents. What do we tell our kids? What do we tell the survivors so young and tender? What do we tell the kids that they can all back, go back to school and know that it's going to be okay? When we come back, we'll discuss it. U.S. school shootings since Columbine, 40 plus. Hopefully, um, you agree with me what I said and my point of view, what, you know, I'm trying to say about those kids, um, getting shot and even the principal at the elementary school with a few adults. Yeah, it's pretty um, sad, like I said. Um, even Obama spoke out and yeah, I mean, it's just the president too who spoke out. There's people in the community and all of that and it's it's kind of hard to explain I print some forgive me if I hesitate and anyways so then I'll pretty much start to read out the names who've died um, just only the first name so it's pretty much starting right now so there's Charlotte Daniel Rachel Olivia um, Josephine Anna Dylan Don Madeline Kathleen Chase, Nancy, Jesse, James, Grace, Anne, Emily, Jack, Noah, Carolyn, Jessica, Avli, Lauren, Mary, Victoria, Benjamin, last but not least, Allison. So, so my reaction is that to those people who've died in the shooting in Newton, Connecticut, um, I felt sorry for you guys for being shot by a 20 year old. Hope I could do something, but it just happens. I mean, hopefully it gets a lot safer in the community. Um, you know, for those haters out there, you know, this is serious. This is not a joke. You know, as a YouTuber, not only I just had to make 
um, not only did I make videos of myself, just like, you know, me playing basketball and all of that, I'm just more of like taking it seriously that it's heart heartbroken. I mean, I was about to cry. <sighs> like I said, it's kind of hard to explain. I mean, I don't know what else to say, but just those haters. This is serious. This is not a game. This is not a joke. I mean, if you see on TV, that's real. And they show you there's clips, there's witnesses, and everything. And, you know, I mean, those haters out there, like I said, dislikers, just live your own life. What happens if your um, best friend dies? Would, would you like it? Exactly. I mean, for those haters responding, no, then, you know, if my best buddy I play with in basketball, you know, at lunch, that I used to play with in middle school, and, you know, if that happened and died, I would, you know, like, cried and, you know, felt sorry for him. And that's how I feel if it happens, and if it's one of those people who have died in a tragedy in Connecticut, and, I mean, it just, again, I'm just giving an example, you know, this is not real, so, um, don't think it is. I'm just, you know, giving a sample of what, what if it happened. So then, I, if you're feeling sad about this video, um, not only just that, I'm just gonna, you know, at the, after the credits, I'll pretty much, um, had a couple of my clips, you know, showing me playing basketball on my shooting. And that's all, so. Thank you. By the way, I would give a pretty much a shout out to my parents who've, you know, bought me this camcorder. And I really feel grateful. Um, it's an honor and privilege to have one. And yeah. Thanks for watching. So be sure to please subscribe, like, anything like that. Um, leave anything below, like comments, questions. Um, whatever you want, and um, hopefully be safe, and I'll pretty much see you guys later, and bye. Ricochet, you take your aim, fire